Now we are talking education on the line and the quest is to raise the standards of math in the region. It's called the Conquer Maths Project. Where were you guys like umpteen years ago when I really and truly needed someone to help me with my math? <laughs> Good morning and welcome to Morning Barbados. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now uh, with us we, we have um, uh, the Director of Marketing for, Con uh, for Conquer Maths Project, uh, Winston Cumberbatch. That's right. Good morning and welcome once again. Um, um, Conquer Math UK, Richard Hunter, and the maths tutor, uh, acting maths tutor uh, at uh, Erdiston, Erdiston uh, Training College, uh, Courtney Harewood. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. Now let's get back to the Conquer Math concept. Um, how did this come about? Right, Conquer Maths was originally put together by uh, a, a couple of brothers in Australia. Uh, one was, was a, a maths teacher and had been for about 20 years and he was extremely frustrated by the students in his class who were basically nervous or, or embarrassed about putting their hands up. So he put together a number of, of maths lessons that his students could study in their own time mm -hmm. uh, in the specific areas where he found that, that most were struggling. His brother was, was uh, a, a computer programmer working primarily in the financial industry, so they worked, worked together to put together the Conquer Math system. After they saw the success that it had with, with some of the students in, in his class, he decided uh, that really th this is something that every student in the world needs, and maths is, is, is historically one of those subjects that, that people are genuinely frightened of. So this, is, this has alleviated uh, a lot of those fears for, for a lot of students. Courtney here, well, let me ask you, why is this good for Barbados? It is good for Barbados because we need more computer-oriented programs in mathematics. Mm -hmm. The young people like technology. And with the use of technology, you will find that they might buy into mathematics more. Um, you will find that you give a young child a, a <coughs> cell phone or some gadget, and you can, before even any training, you can uh, play with it, operate it. Mm -hmm. So we find that um, sometimes mathematics could be a difficult subject. And um, with the technology and making mathematics fun, mm -hmm. children might get to understand it better. And I found that. Um, this was introduced to me by Winston at St. Leonard's School. I used to teach at St. Leonard's School. And when, it, when he introduced it to me, I looked at it and I said, you know, in Barbados we are in need of software. Mm -hmm. So uh, it, it was an interesting program. I even went home myself one day and I looked at it and things like probability three and building the probability three mm -hmm. and I explained it very clearly. So I, I sold the idea to my school and we bought into it. My they were probably for the first time there will be different problems. Mm -hmm. So but I, I hope that it is a good program and I would like to see more people buy into it because it is technology. And if you look in Barbados there may not be many programs assisting youngsters in, in mathematics, mm -hmm. and this is one. What are, the, what are the age ranges that the Conquer Math will seek to, to target? Well, I, I'll tell you that that is what caught my attention. Um, this program allows persons from the very age of reception right through to tertiary level to access mathematical content. And the good thing about it is that um, unlike perhaps some other applications that may limit you mm -hmm. to, to your area, this provides access to to the entire suite of lessons, over 1,000 lessons to every single individual. And there's an obvious reason for that, because mathematics is sort of foundational. If you have challenges in the early stages, that seems to follow you throughout your education. So the, the, the organizers, the developers of Conquer Mass allows everyone to come in at any level and go back and correct any problems. And if they're gifted, they can go forward to any other level and not be held back. And that's key to me. How is it different uh, using Conquer Math from how we teach math in school today? Well, you see, math normally, traditionally, is taught with the chalkboard, and you have your text before you. Um, in the setup with Conquer Math, a teacher, for example, can have all the students in the classroom accessing the program on their laptops, computer systems. He could also utilize a projector, for example, to project the lesson on the screen. 
Mm -hmm. And again, without having to spend a lot of time drawing diagrams and all these kind of things, mm -hmm. the, the, the program does that for you. And it's quite colorful. And everything that is, hi things are highlighted so you're not lost. So, so this, this visual stimulus is what captures children's attention. You, you suggest it's more of a teach, teacher's aid than, 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 than a teaching tool? Um, no, it's, it's, it's actually, um, it was originally actually put together as a, a self-learning tool mm -hmm. um, because a, an, another excellent advantage of, of Conquer Maths is that you can actually pause and rewind the teacher. Mm -hmm. yeah. So any student who's, who's learning in individually has full control of their own learning, the pace that they learn, mm -hmm. which just cannot be achieved in the classroom. So as the programs developed over time, we found that, that uh, schools and students are using it in a number of different ways, both in the classroom and out of the classroom, mm -hmm. to, uh, to yeah. some absolutely excellent, excellent effect. And yeah. that, that simple control of the teacher just gives, gives students that little bit of extra, extra help and uh, the ability to rewind the teacher means that there's no longer that, that fear or concern of raising the hand in, in, in class and drawing attention to yourself at, at the end of the day. I, I was just about to say that there's <coughs> some that don't even fear raising their hand. They'll, <laughs> they'll simply just not do it. Yeah. Now, <laughs> uh, let's go back to some of the things that, that become fundamental um, for students um, going forward, especially those who might be over a two-year period preparing for um, common entrance or, CXC, or, or CXCs. Mm -hmm. um, th the harder parts, you know, like algebraic e expressions, um, um, theories, and, and, and equations, where the, the numbers and the letters seem to marry, but it doesn't resonate for some, some of our children. Mm -hmm. How do we get them to not become overwhelmed by, by these equations. Okay. An another um, excellent aspect of Conquer Maths is that the lessons are intentionally kept very, very short. So, um, uh, for example, the, the mathematics is broken down into, into more manageable chunks, where a lesson at school might be 50 minutes or an hour long. A lesson within Conquer Maths is condensed down to around about three to five minutes long. So students can then sit and learn them over their own time, it may take them longer than the three to five minutes, but everything is, is condensed and within those manageable chunks. So we're not putting too much in front of children at any one time. And uh, it, it, it does tend to hold students' uh, attentions a lot better than a long, drawn-out maths lesson. Uh -huh. Courtney, here we're giving your experience with uh, Conquer Maths and traditional maths. Wh where do you see, or uh, what role do you see this concept playing in, in school, and in, 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 in what kind of school? I find that the program is a stimulus. Mm -hmm. it, it motivates children, but they still need the teacher there mm -hmm. to, to guide, because mathematics is one of those areas that you can get lost. Mm -hmm. I can move from one step to another step. And then you do not, a student might not, who is not mathematically inclined, mm -hmm. may not be able to follow that step. So it has value in primary it school at all? It has value in primary school. It has value right through. Right, right through. But, but it, it can't te teach you the two time table. Oh, yes, it, it certainly can. Yes, well, certainly. yes. Well, let me talk and teach you. <laughs> 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 yes. mm -hmm. I, I have not actually, I have not actually studied the primary school program. Mm -hmm. I used it in, when I was at St. Anna's in secondary uh -huh. program. Mm -hmm. And, um, Things like volume uh, and those areas, mm -hmm. the visual is there. Mm -hmm. The visual is there, but sometimes you might still need a little guidance. Guidance, and if a child is using it as a home program, also, mm -hmm. uh, I those parents who buy into it, the parents will also be there to help guide the children along. Mm -hmm. We need the parents along with it. It's a good program, um, but you need the parents to buy into it and help steer the children because you know sometimes students need the support and the mm -hmm. guidance. But you, you make a, 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 a valuable point, um, having parents involved. Now, yes. this is a good learning tool for the children and also for teachers to assist in, in getting the message across. Mm -hmm. But how do we get the parents not only on board to work with the children, but not to feel intimidated as well? Uh, th there, there, there are some moms and dads that when they sit down and they see the curriculum being offered, especially when we're looking at math, they say, but I can't remember doing that looking like this. So uh, how do we, uh, are we also preparing parents by bringing them together and having a bit of a tutorial this on Conquer Maths? This is very interesting This is very interesting to say that, it's very interesting to say that. Actually, what we find is that many of the parents who, who have purchased the program for the children, mm -hmm. they actually have said that for the first time, 
they found that they were able to sit down and relearn their mathematics. Now that's quite keen because as they do that, they're able to give support to the, to the, to the children mm -hmm. and also understand some of the concepts that they would have missed much, much earlier. We're even looking at a program where now we would allow parents themselves to have a, an access once they have a student on the program that they themselves can have an access so we're actually teaching parents at the same time at the same time excellent and that's great the ministry of education for example has seen the value of this program and as a result um and we hope you will talk to, talk about that a bit they've organized a pilot in 12 schools and this pilot is scheduled to be launched um tomorrow actually and um at s some point in time i guess we can share some information on that all right, let me ask you though, um, mm -hmm. it, it, is, it is technology, this, that's what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I attended a, a, a forum at, at, at here uh, earlier this year with one of our technology consultants uh, mm -hmm. in, in education, looking, looking at, at, at a whole array of, of technological advances in teaching. Yeah. The question, therefore, gentlemen, is, is how do you know which system is good for you? Because I saw so many teaching aids, I mean, I was in awe. And, mm -hmm. and we went from one to the next, wow, this is good, this is great. And how do you know what's good for your environment, what's good for your, your individual school, and, and what's good for, for your system? Mm -hmm. right. We are certainly confident that this is the most effective product out there for, for mathematics. Yeah. Um, earlier, well, I expect you to say. Oh that. yes, yes. Well, <laughs> we, I, I can. I can also <laughs> confirm that uh, early, earlier this year, we attended uh, the Beck Show in London, which is the world's largest education exhibition, mm -hmm. and uh, we entered the Bet Awards, in which we were a finalist, and we were the only maths product mm -hmm. that uh, that was uh, that was uh, within the finalists for. Well, where, the where is that system? Your system being used in what school systems across the world? Right. Okay. It's it's used in. Uh, it's roughly six. 65 countries around the world, mm -hmm. um, currently used in around about 500 schools in the UK, and uh, increasing numbers uh, in Australia, New Zealand, mm -hmm. across Africa, and uh, the United States as well. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's steadily growing and becoming a much more popular way of learning. Okay. No, I, 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 I suspect that it has, it has some value if, mm -hmm. if, if, if they're even going to do a, um, you know, a, a test yeah. program with it. Uh, I'm going to check you know. it out. Excellent. It's <laughs> worth reviewing. Um, and, and you say that, that, that this evaluation of the system will be done in secondary schools only? And primary, actually. Secondary and primary. And primary. Actually, we've identified six schools in the secondary and six in the primary mm -hmm. uh, for this uh, pilot, which will run for two terms. Mm -hmm. And um, e uh, one class on each of these schools would be accessing the program and being taught the program mm -hmm. um, through the curriculum. Um, for example, we have here a, a manual Okay. that teachers use and we had a we had a workshop organized by the Ministry of Education and um, several teachers attended this workshop and they were totally blown away in fact the very question you asked earlier was yeah where was this ever since <laughs> <laughs> because what they found is that um, it allows them to be able not only to make the, the, the learning um, uh, adaptable to students present needs but it relightens their load as a teacher because the program has a heavy um, emphasis on reporting, evaluation, and marking. You can actually set homework assignments. Well, Winston Cumberbatch, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. We will wait to see the results of this program. Richard Hunter, good to talk to you. Courtney yeah, Edwards, one thing you too. Unfortunately, we there have is, time. There is, there is a um, panel discussion being planned mm -hmm. on the topic, the high failure rate of mathematics in the region. What's the problem and where's the solution? Give us the date and time. The date is on the 16th at 7 o'clock at the Ale Alexandra School. We're inviting everyone involved in mathematics to this. So along, folks.